Good day, good day! How the honk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland, this is your friend Dano. Yeah, we got something for you today. <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, I'm just going through and uh, looking at stuff, and we practically did every matchbox casting except for this little bugger. <laughs> yeah, so we got to do a matchbox uh, model review on the what would be the 2015 Land Rover Evoque. Yeah, check it out. All right, first things first. Uh, <laughs> well, hey, guess what? When I was when I did this video, these guys are temporarily uh, out of order. Yeah, so I went over to Fandom <laughs> and uh, checked them out. They gave me the information, which I kind of knew already, because there's not a lot of going on here. Uh, I was kind of surprised. Um, when's the last time we saw this? But any here, anyway, here we go. This is the Matchbox Range Rover Evoke, the MB896. And this is the first rendition that came out. And uh, it's, uh, they call this, uh, this, so in 2016, this came out. I was totally so excited. Uh, yeah, just awesome, awesome, awesome. It was just uh, launched uh, quite a few new things for uh, Hot uh, Matchbox and Land Rover. So anyway, 2016 orange metallic flake, uh, gray base, black trim is what they call it. You see the 2015 Land Rover Evoke there, made in Thailand. Uh, trademark 2015, but it came out in uh, 2016. So, orange, beautiful detailing. This got all the uh, treatment. Front headlights, grills, badge up front, Range Rover, excellent. Uh, this orange paint, and it doesn't matter who it is, uh, in my opinion now, uh, orange is a tough color to uh, paint, uh, whether it's Matchbox or uh, Hot Wheels. It seems like a lot of times in the, uh, uh, the, the, the crevices and stuff, it kind of bleeds through, it kind of uh, leaks through or is kind of thin. But this one wasn't too bad. I don't know, if, but uh, beautiful detailing. Uh, just love the, the rear tail lights there. It's got the little evoke here. I don't know if you can really see that. The Land Rover badge on the right side, Range Rover across the tail end there. Very nice, nice balance on the bottom there. Very cool, it's got the little uh, marker lights underneath here. Very, very cool. Very nice representation, it's got the filler cap there. Nice, uh, nice stance to it. Good, good size wheels on this one. They really did a good uh, representation of the uh, three door, or what we'd call the two door, Range Rover Evoke. Got just a little bit of marking there. But you can see the bottom uh, base comes up, kind of does a front end uh, chin there. And then the in interior or uh, trim piece black comes in the, into play there. It's got the little vents on top of the hood, pretty neat. I don't know if you could really pick up that uh, metal, they call it metal flake. It's not metallic. We'll see metallic later. But then it came with these wheels, and I didn't grab the name of those wheels. I think they're 12-spoke wheels. Uh, they all were the same. Uh, they all came with the same wheels. So there you go, 2016, the orange one. Uh, I do have it on the card. Uh, I've got the uh, regular uh, long card, and uh, that was uh, 27 out of 125. Range Rover Evoke. And then I did have a short card of it. I found a short card, or I, or I got a short card. I don't think I found it. But uh, that's what I 
that's what I got. So there you go. You take a look at the back there. See where we're at. Pretty awesome. So I was pretty well stoked when they came out with that. Uh, someday maybe I'll have an Evoke. <laughs> All right. The next time it showed up. It showed up in the Matchbox Land Rover series. And uh, quite interesting, if you remember, Matchbox did a Land Rover series, not, did not distribute in my Walmarts. This was a Walmart exclusive, uh, did not distribute in my uh, Walmart uh, locally. I don't know, uh, at the end of the video, I'll tag, uh, I believe I could tag this, uh, this, I did a series on this uh, particular set from Matchbox, but uh, the Evoke was not in the five pack. The set, Land Rover set, came with six cars, but the Evoke was not in the five set ever. There's the uh, five cars that came in that. So it was all by itself on the uh, six single cards. And uh, now they call this one, and so this was 2016 as well. And they call this metallic brown, and a lot of the layperson call it the uh, copper color. But uh, there you go. Now it is listed on the on the card for all all six of the vehicles. Uh, I had to go to the secondary market to get these. Look at that, two ninety nine for this bugger. Um, these were kind of hard to get a hold of, and uh, I snapped them up as much as I could. I did get one, I did have one that I, I did open up. You can see that nice metallic brown there. Same basic thing other than the wheels are gray instead of uh, they were kind of a smoke chrome before. So now they're gray. This had a, um, a gray base with a black trim. Same window, same deco. Even though it was a Land Rover, oh no, there it goes. They had uh, Evoke in the rear license place, which uh, that was a one-time deal there. So there you go, so you can tell the difference there. Beautiful color, 2016. So uh, we took a look at the car, we took a look at the loose. That 2017 came out, and uh, we had the metallic... No, they call this one uh, Metal Flake, Metal Flake Black as well. And that was a Range Rover Evoke. It didn't have a, a specific card number per se. Oh, I guess there's is on the back, 100 of 125. So very nice there. Little, little bit different uh, packaging, not much. Kind of the same, I guess, yeah. Matching uh, color coded, that was very nice. So let's take a look at the black one here up close and personal. You can see that nice metallic black. And this was black on black on black. That was uh, this is the only one with the black base. Everybody else had pretty much a gray base. And uh, no, this guy had a black base. Excuse me. Uh, but they switched. They were uh, gray up until that time. Uh, everybody's got the gray. Uh, trim to it so I get in focus here very nice this really uh, really adds up nicely uh, with its black the uh, quote-unquote murdered out very very nice very nice yep very nice I like that that black on black very this one is kind of hard to get a hold of too these weren't very popular the orange ones were the orange ones came out and uh, boy, they kind of flooded the market and I was able to get quite a few of those. So uh, very nice, I really liked the black one. So that was uh, 2017, then uh, 2018, and I can't believe uh, I just made a card, <laughs> I had a spare one, because I, uh, you guys know I put this on my poster board and this one, I opened it up with, uh, with uh, acetone and glued it back together and the acetone leaked on my car. I just noticed this. Oh my goodness, I must have had it all over my fingers when I sealed this up. So yeah, so anyway, so I have these on a poster board, you know, a timeline of uh, all the uh, evokes. But uh, the last one, 2018, 
came out in the Ice Voyagers. And five packs were pretty popular. Um, you know, they're five something a piece. And uh, actually I picked up almost every one of these I could. Family and friends uh, bought these up for me. So this is kind of a look around the uh, packaging. But I can't believe it's been uh, two years, two years, uh, 2020 right now, two years since we've seen the Evoke out. Now, to the date of this, uh, recording this video, I think the re uh, red one is coming out. Maybe 2020? I'm not sure. I haven't uh, really uh, been able to check, uh, nail that down. But so there's the uh, blue one. And like I say, I got quite a few of those. Um, it was kind of tough. Um, s there's not really a desirable car in here to buy this and then, you know, sell these. You, you know what I mean? So I did have a couple of them that uh, I uh, I took. I cut, I cut the Land Rover out. I put another car in. And I did uh, was able to sell the five pack again for like five bucks or four bucks. So I kind of recouped some of my costs. And that's how I got some loose ones here. But uh, there you go. So 2018, now this is uh, Metal Flake Blue. Get that Metal Flake going there. And now that had the uh, white wheel, same wheel, just uh, white. And it was really nice, and I think that kind of went really well with the uh, Ice Voyager that it had. But this one had the black base with the gray trim. Now this is the only one with the gray trim, so that kind of sets it apart that that far. But the last two had the black base. So it's a plastic base. The only thing metal is uh, the main body part. But they uh, kept everything else good to go there, same as uh, everything else. The only variation was the uh, Land Rover Series 1 had that Evoke on the license plate in the back. All right, so there you go. So we take a little walk there through that. Uh, let me show you some customs. <laughs> yeah, check this out. As you guys all know, I have a uh, collection and I, I'm trying to get every Land Rover model, per se, in uh, bare metal or a Zamax. So I took one of these down, now I sanded and polished and polished and sanded this one so I get that nice mirrored finish. Um, pretty pretty neat that way. So that's one of my uh, pretty pretty cool ones. Otherwise I just have some ones and, and you can see the difference between polished and just uh, paint stripped. Uh, you can really do a good job there. So here's some that I just uh, put some uh, wheels on just farting around uh, this was uh, from the uh, 50th that's kind of a cool look there so anyway let's uh, I got one more here custom to show you guess what the bugger has got an interior yeah this one is I, I cut the top off let's take this one apart here so you kind of see how they're built and so there you go there's the base and it just uh, the uh, axles clip in there with the three the three little prongs there and then it does have a the uh, interior which is the eyebrows but it does have an interior this is you know kind of a shock I was like all right cool so <laughs> there's the interior and then the glass which is kind of unique kind of lifts up in the back and then it, it is the uh, hood vents also nope that's part of the insert sorry the interior is part of the uh, hood insert sorry about that misleading you way to go I'm gonna get called out on that one <laughs> all right so that's the interior so then there is the glass so that that last that back uh, post is uh, plastic so if you go to drill these out the first one the front one is metal, that back one is plastic. So when you go to drill that out, be careful because it'll take right off on you. And uh, so there's the, the body all by itself. Not too much to it, but hey, there you go. 
And then like I said, it's got the uh, nose goes up up underneath there and there's two pegs there that it holds on to it. Then it goes through the hole there on the back. So anyway, so when you have that all together and you cut the windshield off nicely, and I didn't color that. I could have colored that with, a, I guess, a marker, but <laughs> you've got yourself an Evoke convertible. And this is, I, I'm not done with this. I just was farting around and uh, I just, uh, I did this a long time ago, probably back in 2016. So uh, I've got the uh, shop up and running now again. So I just uh, was able to uh, cover that up uh, really nice because the body is, uh, I don't have to cut into the body to make it uh, nice and trim. So there you go. So there's a nice convertible Evoke, which, oh, I'd love to have that. I'm a convertible guy. I'd love to have a convertible. All righty. So there you go. We did it. A model review of the Matchbox MB896 Range Rover Evoke. I'm going to show you this one. The black one on the way out. No, maybe the maybe the copper one. <laughs> oh, they're just all beautiful. I really love this. I can't wait till they put out another one. Can't like I said, I can't believe it was 2018 since they put out the last one. So wow. Come on, Matchbox, let's have some more, huh? Yeah. All right. All righty, folks. That's gonna be it for me today. Have a great day. And as always, remember. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.